If we made it all the way through there and I didn't hit record, I would be saying some really nice words in French. Right. Um, all right, cool. So tell me, what was your thoughts? What was your experience? What were some things that made sense to you? Some things that might have been like, eh, I'm just not really sure. Um, you know, I was just trying to connect dots to the lines and um, just hoping that what I ever I did was was sort of in the in the proper it was done properly and I'm not sure I maybe I there are some things that are okay and other things that don't line up proper properly was there anything that when you did it you just kind of you were like I don't know if I'm doing this right but it just kind of feels right I think the whole uh, the entire experience was like that Oh, okay. I guess uh, you're pretty confident then. <laughs> um, I, I think you did a great job. Um, and I like, I think it's interesting because the, the part that I'm kind of amazed by is the fact that you were pulling lines off of points and getting very creative. And that's the part that a lot of people have a hard time with. Um, and I'm I'm looking at all your all your lines, and they all make very intelligent uh, sense. So um, now I always say stuff like that, and then I'm like, well, but then they'll be here. This sure. is sure. Um, so let's see here. Uh, let me get a color. Okay. So yeah, like I'm looking right away and I'm like okay how the heck did she come up with that and then I trace back and uh, I'm not sure how you got here hold on oh here we are so you go from this point to that point which is on the grid um, somehow you're getting this line it, it might have been okay it could have been from the other side of the picture I didn't know if I could Okay, so one, one, one rule that you want to do, right, is if you're going to create a line that doesn't exist, that, say you need one, what you can do is mimic. So this would be kind of like a mimic, right? So let's say okay. you started it from here, and right. now it mimics. So that, that's perfectly fine, okay? okay? Because there are two aspects to the line. There's the direction of the line, which you only have eight line directions, okay? Does that make sense? Uh, I, I think you must be right, yes. Well, I know I'm right, but does it make sense? <laughs> <laughs> okay, so here you have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven lines, right? And then okay. you have a horizontal. Okay. Those are the, and, every, and everything else falls in some angle related to those, right? Oh, yeah. Um, so these lines here? Like this line yeah. here it is, uh, I think, uh, this one here, right? Right. And this one here is, well, this one here, right? So um, this line here is this one, uh, uh, this one here, okay? So there's only eight lines in this whole image, eight okay. line directions, okay? Um, now, so what happened here is you went from this point to this point okay uh -huh. so that's that's good that makes sense that's logical boom okay then you went from here and you repeated so you started from the eye which gives you your spacing and right. from the space you extended the direction which is a line a line issue okay which got you to this this eye um, right. if you extend all the way through it takes you to this edge from that edge, you came across. Oops. Okay, got you here. Um, and then from here, you probably you might have gone here, which is totally fine, or you might have gone down here, whatever. Um, right. Then I'm maybe from here. I'm trying to figure out. Oh wait, here, here it is. Oh. oh. Okay, but you yeah, see that? I'm just curious. Is this is this a good idea? You see that little? Okay, that that exactly. Mm -hmm. I think I might have done something like that, and then um, and then I, maybe I took a, I raised something away, and I liked what was left over, yeah. and that was sometimes the way I 
I operated. And so this is why all the way in the beginning, I always say you were able to talk with such confidence when your art, with your artwork, when you know, and you're able to articulate why the line starts here, ends here is in, and is in that direction. Right. This is why I, I say we can do that because no line, we don't create any line that's just randomly placed with inside the rectangle. It has to come from somewhere or it has to repeat something. Okay. Does that make sense? Yes. I, I just wanted to ask you, yes. when it comes to the next step of refining it, can you, can you like, um, edge a little bit can you or do you want to stay as close to this as this direction close as possible? as possible okay okay um there are a couple little tricks to kind of make it look like you know to, to solve a problem um if i have this this rectangle here right And inside here, I have this. And I just have these. Okay, so you can see that there is um, a conscious decision effort to get a specific energy thrust line direction, boom, okay? And I'm trying to get everything with inside of that line area. And if I come in here and I just make any mark that's just a little bit off, it sticks out like a sore thumb. Yes. So this is why you want to be very careful when just throwing in a random line because if if it doesn't harmonize with the piece, it's going to stick out. Okay. So if you need to, say, create a line that isn't part of the rectangle, let's say mm -hmm. something like this, then you want to make sure that you repeat it several times throughout it at least it feels like it belongs and it's just not a one-off accidental thing okay as you could so you want to hide it so it's just not a sure. red-headed stepchild okay yes um Vic, victor at this point mm -hmm. um how do you feel about the placement of the children in relationship to the angles is there one you would move up or Yeah, over I would or? shift a bunch of them. But before we get to the kids, let's look at some of the boats because I think that'll kind of – it's they're simpler shapes. Mm -hmm. um, and, and uh, well, for, first thing I, I saw, okay, is – let me get my red here. This here – um, I would, I would, I would move that over here. Okay. okay. And then the rope here that you have, I would then make it here. Okay. Okay. Because this angle is nice, but it's not a dominant angle in the image. Okay. okay? You're just kind of, I mean, sure, you're going from here to here, going from a point to point, but it's not one that's part of the 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 yeah it was it was kind of like a laid back um kind of a weak angle yeah always falling behind somebody and i guess what is that a sinister angle so well you yeah, both, you both sinisters um the where you have it right now is a sinister and where i put it the only difference is that mine has a little more energy because it's more you know it's, it has, it's just on a steeper thing yeah it has more of a thrust yeah right so if we go from here to here, and then from this point to, um, I guess you could probably go to his foot if you wanted to, 
I personally would probably go from here to here, okay, behind his mm -hmm. foot. So now his mm -hmm. foot can be in that energy, that, that thrust, right? Mm -hmm. And then I would probably come across to this point and then mm -hmm. up. So you can see how that just moves your eye straight through that thing. Yes. Right. So actually what I'm going to do is... Take a shot. Uh, yeah, we can do that as well. I just want to, like, um, tracing paper over top of it type of thing so that we can see what we're doing here. Okay, um, let me take a screenshot. Okay. Um, and Katya, if you have any questions, well, don't ask. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> get away. I, I just need to see what you are uh, doing. Very good. Very cool. I was going to say ask, but then I thought, oh, well, maybe um, no, it might be a little confusing. too late for that. No. Yeah. So this is really beautiful, this shape here. Mm -hmm. and, and it moves your eye in such a neat and, and elegant way through it. And then what's nice is once it gets here, it can pop you up through different areas. So maybe what we can do is take this boat shape Okay, um, and what I'm going to do is, let's take this boat shape, I'm going to move it, okay? And then I'm going to get rid of it. Hmm, how rude. Okay. And I will put those in there. Okay, so now what I'm going to do is I'm going to move. My thought is, you see how, how, yeah, um, the, um, the, the angles are hitting in that triangle. Exactly. Right here. Right here, the edge of the boat here, and you got the horizontal. All those little elements just beautifully lock in. Okay. Yeah. Now, when you're drawing it, what you can do is you see the back of the guy here, the fisherman? Yes. Repeat this angle. You see the back of this fisherman? Repeat that angle. And now that whole entire element locks in into that grid. Well, what am I repeating that angle? Is that the fishing pole, you mean? Okay. What, what is that? I got gotcha. you. Let me let me explain it this way. So, um, you got you understand these angles because they're straight from the grid, right? Right. Okay. Um, so the bottom of the boat here is on that angle. The front of the man, the the back of this man here. Okay. Now, uh, let me. So now, the front of this character here, uh -huh. right, you have this, give me a second. So you have this line here, but make this line, repeat this line, okay? Oh, okay. And then make the back of this character repeat this line. So like, okay. like this. Or, or, maybe better yet, make it repeat this line. See, so mm -hmm. that feels a little bit better, right? Which is which, ha which happens to be this line as well. Okay. Now this fishing line here, mm -hmm. um, which is here. Look at one of the lines here, like maybe this line here, mm -hmm. and you can then repeat that one. Oh, it's so cool the way you, you reach across and you relate it to something farther away. It gives you, well, more interesting choices and uh, it gives you freedom. You don't feel like you're locked into like a very tight grid. There's, anyway. Yep, and then, and then, and then on top of it, 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 you know, so let's say we have that and we're, we pop it in there, okay? Mm -hmm. 
So now it's the same. So now it relates. So just you can see how you're now taking every little line and harmonizing it to the grid. Mm -hmm. And the grid is telling you what to do. Okay. Mm -hmm. so now let's take a look at this boat here. Um, I think the way you did it is a good solution. You have it butt up against there. It comes up to here. This is, this is all good stuff. Um, I would just change the solution um, to be... Yeah, I'll just do it this way. My thought is if you have a, a strong vertical like that, mm -hmm. then, then put it on that yeah. line. You can see the difference already. I mean, he's back there. And if you want, you could probably even sh make this boat a little smaller in the background. Right, right. And, um, and land it right there. Nice. So now you have it on that nice vertical. Uh, Let's see here on that vertical. Um, th this this line here. So when I do it in blue, it's because I'm trying to mimic a line. Okay. Sure. And when I do it in red, it's it's I'm locking it into the grid. And uh, maybe the sail does it. You know. You know what that is? It just seems to mention it to you. What it is? It's not even a sail as much as just the lines of an unsailed boat okay i don't know if that makes um, yeah. just, but i it's the same thing it's the same thing it's just i'm just mentioning to you um so that in my mind i'm not repeating sailboat sailboat i'm repeating uh, like a moored sail boat i got i got you yep and do you see how like when this line comes here and then this edge comes here we come across horizontally and now we're now that whole boat is locked into the grid. The only mm -hmm. part that's not locked in is this, mm -hmm. right? And one, one thing you could do is let's say if you put the little curve here mm -hmm. and you just follow that curve down, well, now you know mm -hmm. you can end it there, right? Because that point now relates directly to that curve. Okay, well, that's something a little different, isn't it? To of have course. a little bit of a curve and extend it and then... So that's almost like a whole nother um, tool. Yeah, and that's part of the. That was one of the things in the in the um, in the line. Video. Story. Yeah. Okay. And so yeah, I mean, you can begin to already see how these little shifts. I mean, this whole space in here with the with these two boats placed in, it just feels right. Right. I mean, you, right. you know what I'm saying? It just there's something about the logic between here and here, the math between there and there, that that whole little space just feels like a puzzle. Like, Would you, would you not say that Surratt was a great disciplinaire, like disciplined his designs with this? Almost every single artist that you can think of that we still study today, this is what they did. Right. Okay. I mean, it, it, I, I just, the challenge is to find the artist who didn't do it. You know, most most students are like, I wonder if this artist did it. You come to a point where it's like, you wonder who didn't do it. Um, right. So right. like here, you have the house up here. Yeah, I actually up. found a very difficult time dealing with, um, well, I, I had a difficult time actually making judgments on everything. I wasn't sure what was right, what was wrong. So, okay. This is This is great. Look at that. I mean, all of that part of that house is locked in, right? So now the question is, well, how do you figure out where, where do you end this? Does it end here? Does this come down? I would probably, honestly, when that horizontal comes, or that vertical comes down here and it creates that little eye, uh -huh. you might make that the top of the, um, the mountain, right? Yeah. And then it just comes down through here. And again, here you can just repeat this same angle. So you right. can do two things. You can either repeat it or you can do a radiating point, which is now now that, that angle here doesn't fit in the grid, but because it extends your eye to one of the points, that's another way around. You know, that's kind of like a little... That's another way of locking it in yeah. to the order. Yep. So now we can come through here 
And let's say, let's see what this gives us. Okay, so that gives us that. Um, okay, what, what we can do then is extend this one down and you see how it gives us that point. Mm -hmm. And now we have the top of the house. Now, this is what I want to ask you. All the lines that you're drawing, um, they're the horizontal lines. They're true to the horizontal lines. It's not like, um, you know, you you turn that house and then you had it going a little smaller in the distance. Do you know what I'm saying? Oh, you, perspective? Like, yeah. Uh, into perspective. Um, yeah, I get what you're saying. Uh, I mean, if you really wanted to kind of twist, you know, I mean, I mean, can you do question. that without? Or do you can, want to put that you, on? Yeah, you could do that. I mean, for example, instead of doing a horizontal here. Yeah. Okay. You can do a radiating point. And so you have this point here. Um, this could, let's say, um, let's say you come from this point here, which is already existing. You come across, gives you that point, and so now you're making that point. So you're coming from here. Um, let's say maybe maybe you come from this point here. Mm -hmm. And the reason why I did that different is because this is too high. It only it ends here, right? So that doesn't really work well. So let's let's erase all this here so we can see what we're doing. So now if I go from this point to this point, well now that gives you a nice little angle in the house. It gives you a place where you can drop your vertical from this mm -hmm. point up to here. Oh, come on. So that gives you now that. Um, and then if you wanted to go back from this point to maybe over here, that's giving you the top of that house. Okay. So again, every line. Do you, do you wrong. like that? Or do you think it was stronger the other way? I want your opinion on this case. I this, personally like the um, the horizontals because it kind of sets a nice flatter background. But that's I agree. I agree. I I agree. And for another reason too, um, yes, it does make a flatter background. And maybe the horizontals are better because the it repeats kind of a peacefulness. Yeah, you know the horizontal. So let's go back now. Ultimately, there's another. We can make an argument the other way. There's something nice about having this go back into space, and it also is kind of nice that it's pointing us to the girl, which ultimately all this guy is to do, anyways, right? Um, so Katya, let me ask you: Do yeah. you do you like that little house back there more in an angle, or did you like it more straight on, like a horizontal? In an angle. Yeah, for the perspective. Donna? Um, I kind of feel like it's jumping out. It's too three-dimensional. I think it's quieter on the, um, on the horizon. Okay. Uh, on the horizontal line. Okay. So... Then it's let's just, go back yeah, here. Okay. Yeah. So then let's let's do that. Let's keep everything in the back then on the horizontal because it just like you said quiets it down. Um, right. Now, Katia, yeah, uh, you weren't wrong. This is just a question of taste, and um, and and both of them are right. We just have to uh, approach it differently. So, in terms of the story, if we want to keep it calm then Donna solution is the better one, um, which is to kind of just, by, by shifting it on that angle, it becomes more something like you see, you become more uh, aware of it. And if we don't want you to become too aware of it, then uh, it, it's kind of good to kind of just keep it a little quieter. Um, so, so let's see here. We can come in here like that. This can come across here. Then we have that, we come down, this came up, this, this came down, and let's say you have this, 
which is the blue, which now you can mimic there, and it's done. Oh, wow. Okay. So this is nice. Now, you have this shape coming through here. So what we can do, let me see here. We can come from this point down, which gives us that. We could repeat this, which gives us that. Okay. From, um, I might go, see, I'm trying to figure out, do I want to come to this point uh -huh. or do I want to make the, these are trees, right? Yes. Okay. So, so it's okay then if it's as high as the house and then you could come across, um, across there. Um, and then this line here, oops, this line here, we can mimic there, okay? Now, one thing we couldn't th think about is if we come across here, there we are, okay? So we can end it, we can make sure that it ends there, okay? So we're, cop we're mimicking that line and we're making sure that it's true. So do you see how that whole entire little unit now is kind of locking in? Uh -huh. And again, it, it's all locked in, especially to that grid. When we right. take this to see here. Okay. So let's take a look here. Now I'm not going to do all of it, but there are a couple of things over here I want to want to get sure. to. Okay, and then we'll get to the people. Um, when you have something like this and then you have all that space between this and that line, yes. um, my gut thing to do would be what? To uh, put it on the angle, yep. move it up, move it over. Yep. Boom. Okay. And then lock it into that. It really doesn't change the image, but that little nuance, locking it in, it just makes it feel right. lighter. It makes it feel right, okay, as, you, okay. as your eye moves through here. It doesn't change the story. It just changes the way we feel. Right. Okay. And then, um, and then just locking that in. This comes through here. So now we have a vertical. Uh, question is, how far do those verticals come down? Um, was I able to draw a horizontal from that angle? See where I have, I, I was trying to give a little sense of a plane before you go up on the slope of the hill. So I have here? the two vertical lines. Yes. I just kind of said, oh, well, maybe I can draw that there and connect it to the other one. Is that true or is that real or is that fabricated? You mean these here? Yes. Yes. Those horizontals, those are fine. Um, you just kind of want to figure out, like, this makes sense that it starts here, okay? Mm -hmm. But the question then is this distance here, how does that relate to anything? The distance from here to there, how does that relate? So here's a right. trick, the trick. When you, uh, how do I want to do this? Okay, MasterCard, no. Um, when you, create a, a measurement, you, you go through all that weird uh, drawing lines and horizontals and verticals and you finally get a couple um, lines that are working for you. Okay, little distances, uh, measurements. So for example, in the boat, okay, we're over here. And you can get a piece of paper, rip it, use it the straight edge of that of that piece of paper, okay? Uh -huh. And so what, now you have a little measurement. And you know that measurement comes from the grid. Uh -huh. So now you can say, oh, look at that distance is okay. Oh, okay. So now yeah. how far do we want to come up through here? So maybe we find... Well, we know that we, you know, spent all that time working this thing out. 
So what do we, what, what does it give us? Um, we have a measurement there and there. Okay. We could even look at that. That's kind of cool. Look at that. That measurement there happens to be the same as its height. That's kind of neat. I'm not sure how that's even possible. Uh, now let's check something out here. See, this is kind of fun because then you start finding all these weird relationships. Wow, look at that. Hmm. There to there, right? Mm -hmm. the, the, or I guess it's probably more that one. You know, so the, the grid starts giving you these amazing um, ratios and combinations that you, you don't even think about. So when we come back here, we can find, get your piece of paper, mark up all these little space, these little units, and now we know we can do this. Make a mark on here, make a mark there. Now you see how this one starts up there? Uh-huh. Now what we can do is come back down from that little mark. And you can go right there, okay? Now, intuitively, you did it. Uh -huh. You don't want to, and being intuitive doesn't give you confidence. No. Being intentional, saying, hey, I know exactly how, I know the math, quote unquote, the math behind it. So now you know what I did was that this distance is the same as that, and then the width of this, the height of this boat, I came back down, and now I have the two little areas hmm. for that little, little space. Mm -hmm. Now, let's say we come over here. Somehow we we find here, and then what you do is when this point gets here to here, you can curve that, okay? So mm -hmm. your, your curve is going from a point to a point, mm -hmm. okay? And then you come, come across there. Now, that took a little bit of time to, to calculate that out, but it's so worth it because that, that spacing mm -hmm. is, is unique to this grid, Right. This image. And and look at it, it just feels right. Uh -huh. Like all of that, all that spacing is starting to feel really, really right. It's the composition. It's the music. That's it. That's it. And the design is trying to figure out what you want to say, but this is the composition part of it. So right. let, I want to do one more and then we'll get into the kids, okay? Okay. Um, I just want this big boat here we gotta deal with here. All right. And mainly because that boat with the open sails has such a strong angle, right? Mm -hmm. So mm -hmm. let's just plop it on there. I mean, and the reason why is because when this drawing is done, we won't see these these grid lines. So it's important right, but, to have but, all these little marks popping it. Right, right. Very cool. Yep. I love that you get this, Donna. It's so cool. Look how much you've helped me. Um, hmm. hmm. That's kind of interesting. Okay. Oh, I see why. All right. That makes sense. Okay. Yeah. I mean, that just feels so much better. Mm-hmm. Uh -huh. Hmm. Hold on, hold on for a second. Kellen, can you see if Dad needs help? Sorry, Victor. No problem. How do you say your husband's name? Excuse me? How do you say his name? Your husband's name? My dad? Oh, your my husband? husband, Kellen. 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 That's such a cool name. It that's, is. Irish. Yeah. Okay, that's neat. So we have a horizontal, we have this diagonal which now comes into here, okay? Mm -hmm. 
Now, this diagonal comes through here, which creates a, a point. So this could probably maybe, if you wanted to, where part of the boat ends, possibly. It might be too short, okay? Um, but that probably should be something. Look at that. Now we know the side of the edge of his head, his chest. And see, it's, it's weird. You're connecting all these objects so they're interconnected. Mm -hmm. But you're also doing it to help reveal the mate. We call it a matrix or the armature of, mm -hmm. of the rectangle that you're in. In this case, it's a square. Um, right. Okay, so now, now the only problem that I'm having is we have this, hor this, this horizon line here. And if we put the bottom of that boat line there, it's going to look a little weird. Yeah. Um, so what do you think is one solution on, on trying to figure out how, how much to either come? First of all, do you want to bring the, uh, the sail below the horizon line or above the horizon line? Oh, my word. Um, maybe it's... Well, let me think now. Well, I don't think I want the boat too much close to that little boy's head. So maybe it has to go above the horizon line. The sail. Like we have to see a little green of the far shore mm -hmm. under it. What do you mm -hmm. think, Victor? Um, I personally was going to think bringing it down, if it's too high, then it feels like it's right there, like docked against the shore, which isn't a bad thing. Sure. But, no, I, I agree with you. That's not really, that's not good either. Okay, let's let's move it down. Maybe, maybe one of these boats can be docked by the shore, but this one's active, right? It, exactly, yes. So we bring it down just a little bit. Now, question is, how far do we bring it down? Is there anything in the environment that we can look at to help us measure how far to bring well, it down? Well, I wanted to ask you, I mean, I love the fact that that one edge of the sail is on the diagonal, mm -hmm. but if we brought that down a little further, can we put the entire boat on an angle like it's heading to shore instead of it being horizontal to the shore? Um, I think that's a good idea. My only concern is then you, it becomes noisy. Noisy, right? Yeah. So if we keep yeah, we don't want that. horizontal, then we can really lower the value so that we see boats in the background, but we don't, we, 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 we realize it, it's, you know, there are boats in the environment, but it's right. not about the boats, right? That's correct. Okay. Let's, let's not bother with that. So what so I would say oh. is, um, yeah. come up here. Uh, let's see here bring this element down and you see how now we have three lines that we get to work with. Okay. Mm -hmm. So what we can do then is just come here, this bottom one, which gives us the bottom sail. And then this gives us where the boat is. Okay. Right. Um, and then just kind of working the rest out of from, from there. So I'm just going to leave right. that go for now, but could you get the gist? Perfect. Yeah. And, and now it's like this beautiful melody, this, um, this mm -hmm. rhythm that's going on here, do, do, do. Mm -hmm. it's happening here, do, do, do. and you might end up using that uh, other places as well. Okay, just to kind of like their belts, for instance, or absolutely, absolutely, like inside, yep, the width of their belts may be that size. <clears throat> um, let me let me see something here. So, for example. Let's say we use this measurement and we put it on their belt like that. Well, now what we have is just not their belt. But what we, we have, have music, we have a musical chord. It, that's what it is, a chord. So we can make their belt here, we can put their pocket here, we can have the shirt come out there. Right. Right. And now again, it's not arbitrary. It's not random. There's that whole s spacing. Now it, it carries that same rhythm as those areas back there. Right. It's kind of cool. I like that. Right. That's really cool. <laughs>
Okay, uh, so, so now we talked about all this. You can see how we're shifting these little things around here. Let me take a screenshot for you here. Do, 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 do. Okay. Um, now. Okay, so I'm going to quickly, I'm going to use green because they're angry. They're turning into the Incredible Hawk. Um, so let's take a look at this boy here real quick. You can see how if we bring this in here, we can just lower his, lower his hair, maybe lower his whole face just a, l a little bit. Put his nose, and you can see how his nose, his mouth, his chin, his shirt, it can all be repeating this angle. Uh -huh. Okay, Even the top, maybe just like the top of his head a little, his hair. Then we have this angle here, which we can then repeat here, the t nose, his chin, his hair, the back of his head, his, his neck. We see how that is all starting to lock into that grid. His uh -huh. back here. Um, maybe that part of his elbow, the front of his belly, again, being locked in all these little areas mimicking this rather than having a shirt come down here, maybe put a little edge on there, his little collar, and that might, the little open part of his, um, uh -huh. shirt might end here. So now this point in that little line creates a little thrust. That's the same as that angle. Does that make sense? Mm. Mm -hmm. So it's all these little little things like that. Um, now, how do we get that angle? Is there an angle that the grid gives us that comes very close? See, these don't work. It could come out here and then maybe drop down a vertical. That's a possibility actually doesn't really which actually seems kind of nice because he's the leader so you know now he has a little bit more confidence in his step mm -hmm. where yeah. when he's leaning back he's he's maybe a little little hesitant like he's kind mm -hmm. of discovering it yeah. which yeah. isn't bad but i kind of like this coming through maybe from his head here or maybe from his nose creates a vertical that comes down, so now he has like he feels yeah, that's better. A little yeah, stronger. his chest is is is, is um, prouder. Yeah. yeah, yeah, yep. And then when you draw a line like that, just gently make it go. It's called running the line. So now you don't need to problem solve these things. You have them down here already. Does that make sense? Sure. Does that make sense? Yes, yeah, yes, to repeat okay. that line, yes. Okay. And then by, if you have this nose and the, and the chest and you just gently draw that all the way down, it, it allows you to repeat it and it gives you that nice alignment as well. <clears throat> um, okay, so with this little guy over here, for some reason, again, just like with the house up here, mm -hmm. um, for some reason, I just, I just want to see his arm there. Because okay. it's so close, you know, right. and and that's such an important diagonal in the image. So just right. make, that, make his arm do that. Um, okay, but like I was when we start to do that, that puts mm -hmm. his foot someplace else, and mm -hmm. I kind of thought, oh well, that foot. This is my thought. Mm -hmm. That foot down at the bottom, kind of hit go went in right into that. Oh, I see. That is prettier anyway. There's, there's more. Um, that's lovelier. And we haven't okay. moved his foot. We just opened his arm up a little bit. I know. I see that. Now I see what you're talking about. So, I know. And you didn't move the foot. I thought I had to move the foot. That's where I was getting concerned. So you okay. see how this diagonal comes in here and here? Well, now we can yeah. come across here. Now it gives him his shoulder. And he tells us where this hand should be. So this hand could come in here and here, right? Yep. And then maybe from this sh shoulder, we come up, this elbow, we come over. Now we know where the bottom of that hand is. This is this. just the most amazing, amazing thing I've ever, I've ever been exposed to. It's too, it's just amazing. 
man, between you and Katya and your praises, uh, yeah. Well, I mean, I, imagine I'm be like stuck in this room. My head's gonna get so big. No, but like Victor, I imagine like being seriously a full-time student of yours for at least three, four years. I mean, like that's like the apprenticeship of what it's gonna take to really like this for this to become second nature. That's the way I feel about it. Yeah. So, um, so uh, listen. I know it's it's getting late for you. Um, should I just try to? If you can take a screenshot of this, um, do you want me to just try to um, pursue, just try to follow through on this tomorrow, or did you have other thoughts that you wanted to pull out at this point? Well, personally, I I, I personally feel like I want to get to the girl and the little boy. Just spend a little, okay. like a few minutes on them. Do, but if do, you do, do, do. Oh, okay, okay. Because because I I know I won't be making the best decision at this point, and I I because I'm just too much of a novice. So move. And, and I'm recording this, and so if you don't mind, I'm going to use this for my feedback Friday today, and I'll just please do. It so that other people can see it, but you can always go back. So what we're going to do now is come from this point, and we're going to come down, and now that kind of gives us the box of his face, right? Right. So you like in the amazing. like in the George yes. Bridgman, he says use the boxes when you're laying out the figures, right? Right. Um, and now we're going to come down. It's going to tell us the back of the the back of the the knee coming to the where that foot's going to end. Um, it's giving us all that information, uh, and then we again we extend that puppy down somehow, and that's giving us these two little areas and, and, and so on. Um, okay, so you can continue with that. Uh, let me take a screenshot for you. Boom. Now, what I want to do is lower all that work so we can focus on the woman. Katya, are you still with us or did you fall asleep? I think she fell asleep. <laughs> That's okay. Um, it's like six hours into the future. I know. Okay. So now with her, one thing that I would like to try to do is we know that we said that we wanted this, this curve to come through here, right? Yes. So I'm drawing it back in. And then what I'm thinking to myself is, okay, how can we get the essence of that curve, but in straight line and lock it into the grid, right? So we know that this can come down here, which makes sense. And I'm going to do this in red. Okay. Um, this comes here. Boom. Okay. That comes to that point. Now we want to get, we know from this point, we could come down and that we could go there. Okay. Boom. Then we can come the size, you know, maybe even to this point here. And then we can go from here to that point. And if we want, maybe since this house was kind of important, Maybe we can come kind of go all the way across from here to here. Okay, and the boy's chest was important. So maybe we come from that point to that point. You see how I got that? Well, I'm a little confused. You're starting in the angle on the far left, and you came down on that particular angle towards the girl, then you, from that angle, you hit her, I guess, the, her shoulder. Yeah, so this is one. It's going from this point to that but point. What, but what is that going to be? Anything or nothing? You remember, I put that, I, I remember I put that curve in there? To, yeah. Because we were like, okay, remember the curve, her head's going to be here. So right. we wanted her to feel like the sky represented her thinking. Yes. Right? So now... Here, this is anything inside this area is going to bring us to her head. Okay. This is like the valley, if you will, right? Okay. Now, from here, what we could have done is maybe instead of going up, 
instead of going up, maybe what we could have done was gone out, okay? And so now it would have been <clears throat> just a path that led from our from the sky over to her head. You see how just naturally yes. that flows? I do, yes. <clears throat> and which is basically what you have, but we're just trying to figure out how to take what you intuitively have with your design and lock mm -hmm. it into the grid. And so now you have this beautiful, again, we don't need to know that that's a rope. It's just lines that are leading us. But right. now the lines that are leading us, but they also have specialized spacing. Okay, boom, stops here, boom, over here, boom, all the way through. And then what happens is you get here, and all of a sudden, this line. Uh, hold on one second. Now, all of a sudden, this line here, and and these lines connect, right? Mm -hmm. And that brings the distance from this top to here is special, because it mm -hmm. relates to the grid, and we don't have to consciously know that. We feel it. Our minds calculate it. It's yeah. like when we're jumping, right, on something. So this comes across. We know, okay, the mind calculates that that's a pleasant place to stop. Okay? Mm -hmm. We come from here down to this point. Now, this isn't random. This came because it takes us to the top of that house and the okay. top of those trees, right? So you can see how the space in this whole thrust moves us across. Look at that mm -hmm. beautiful shape. That's a puzzle. Mm -hmm. Right? Now we come from here to here. So now as our eye travels through this landscape in the background to the girl's head, it's done in in um like like little eye movements that start and end and then change, start and end and then change, but in a very pleasing way that is connected to the the math of the rectangle. Mm -hmm. Okay, so it's just mm -hmm. not saying, oh, let's go from here and then here and then here and here, and it has and it doesn't relate to the rectangle. Right. We're saying, okay, go from here to here and stop. And the reason why it's going to stop is because there's going to be a shift in direction. So then it's going to stop here, and then we're going to mm -hmm. shift here. And then we're going to go from here and we're going to go up and whatever. Does that make sense? Yes. Okay. I mean, I, I, you know, it's going to take a while, but um, okay. when I'm you do sure. it, it looks great and it makes sense. But okay. getting there is the question. All right, so um, I, little start. question, little yes. question. Remember we were thinking about the dominant vertical with that tree popping up? No, here? There was a dom yeah. So where is the dominant vertical? Is, I mean, is it something that runs through his body, like his leg, or is it that line that... I thought the dominant that, vertical was here, coming okay. up through the boy, which you have right there. So just okay. make sure his leg is on there, and then um, this is coming down through here. So maybe instead of having this here and here, maybe we just move it in so it comes to his back, like, or something. Okay. You know? And then that can probably go all the way down to the bottom. Okay. Okay. And then we have the tree ends here on that point. Mm -hmm. And then if you if you needed to, you know where you could put a sun if you need if you need to. Right. Just maybe like a little value shift. So now your dominant vertical it goes from all the way from the top all the way to the bottom almost. Right, that's really strong. Yeah, very, very strong. Very good. And that's him, right? Your yeah. dominant arabesque, in a sense, is, is starting to form through here. Yes. It's really wonderful, Don. I mean, Victor. <laughs> <laughs> Don Victor. <laughs> it's great. Um, and so, you know, with her, we have the head here. Um, let's just take a look at her arm. Okay, we want to um, we want to mimic 
repeat yeah. that angle. And then what we want to do is try to repeat that angle as much as possible in, in that arm. Um, okay. uh, let me... Mm. Yeah, and then you can actually come down and repeat that in her dress, okay? Mm -hmm. um, in the thigh, top of the thigh, ankles, toes, whatever. Um, mm -hmm. You see how her dress ends here and this line is here? Make yeah. the dress end on that line. Try to get okay. as much as possible, try to capture as Connect. many of these, yeah. Yeah, connect to those yep. dominant angles. Because ultimately, what's going to happen is you're going to have a line coming here. Maybe her foot comes here. Okay, and maybe this is where her leg. Maybe 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 her legs both shift up a little bit. Mm -hmm. um, here. Mm -hmm. um, let me see here, maybe her hair, I don't know, whatever. And then what happens is when we're done, these lines don't, don't aren't there anymore, right? Mm -hmm. but, we, but they're still preserved because you have these little remnants, these little points that trigger, yeah. that trigger this line that's invisible. And then you're like, oh, but that line is a special division. Right? right, and so we're feeling the unity and the sacredness of the grid, but we don't see it in the end. Right, but we're feeling right. it, and right. and it just gives you that natural order. That's why they call it the secret geometry. Is that right? Because it's a secret; you don't see it. Right, but you're using it. I, I said to somebody today. Um, representation and realism is like a blue color pencil right it's the lead it's the blue lead in the color pencil but composition and design is like the pencil sharpener so if you're able to draw with the blue pencil right oh my gosh look at my hair um if you're able to draw with the blue pencil it's because there was some invisible force outside of the pencil that sharpened the pencil Without sharpening it, you can't use it, right? So um, now what I was sharing with him was 350 years ago, I'm, I'm like 99.9% .9 sure that I'm related to this guy mm -hmm. as he has my last name and he comes from the same city that my ancestors come from. <laughs> and, oh, he, wow. and he was an artist guy. Uh, in Galatia, Spain, his last name was De Castro. His name was Don Felipe De Castro. And um, I think it was Ferdinand, King Ferdinand of Spain, asked Don Felipe to restore the glory of the Royal Academy of Spain, right? In Spain. Mm -hmm. The Royal um, Art Academy. And so when he became the director of the academy, he said, uh, we got to focus on anatomy and geometry and so uh, you know when you look at these realism schools and these representational schools you know mm -hmm. um, they're so focused on the nature the anatomy of something right they think they know composition but it's very very clear that they don't because you walk in and the spacing is just all out of whack the values are not they, they master value but they don't design value which is which is uh, to really support the story. So there's just that whole the geometry is not there. The anatomy's there, and they're really, really good at it. And Don yeah. Felipe said, if you want to restore the glory, you've got to have the anatomy and the geometry. Um, you can see this is the geometry. Yes. But this can't be relegated to a one or two class where you touch on composition in your whole entire you know, art career. Like this requires a lot of training, a lot yeah, of training. apprenticeship. Yeah, yeah exactly. I agree. Yep. All right, so we got her locked in. Let's just take a look at the little boy, and and see what we can do. Do you have any ideas? I'm going to let you kind of like talk me through it. Okay. Um. Let me see. Let me see. And look and remember this. We have blue lines, which is repeating, and we have the red lines, which is locking it in. Those are really right. 
for the most part, the two tools that we're going to be using. Right, right. Um, well, I think I kind of was putting the back of his head on that angle. And, like, it's actually a little hard for me to figure out how yeah. he locks in. So, um, so you're locking him in on that one? I, I think I was locking him in there, and I just started there, and I just plopped him in. That's really what happened. Okay. So you might have to cut his head off a little bit and just shift him, his head a little forward. So why don't we go ahead and try that? Um, like, if you can take little photocopies of your guys, of these little characters you made, so that yeah. way you can, you know, maybe cut, cut his head out and just shift mm -hmm. it. You know, now, mm -hmm. if, you, if his arm is going to be back here, locked in, and his head's going to be back here, well, then you might need to, like, kind of redraw, obviously, this, this little area. And now this pe his, his angle here becomes important, right? Yeah. So now... If we we're going to repeat that, which angle, is there an angle in here that kind of comes close to that, leans that way? Um, you think this one? Not enough. So Maybe this I'm one? I'm not really, that's closer. Okay, so let's take a look at that. Which is, which is right here as well. So right. we could we could put put at least maybe the top part of his body in that thrust. Isn't the anatomy getting a little bit twisted? Well, that's where you're going to ultimately have to come back and 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 finesse it a little bit. Okay, but if you can get eighty ninety percent of him locked in, then he'll be fine. Okay. Um, you know, so now you come in here with your verticals. Yeah, she fell asleep. Cool. And then we can repeat the... Um, <coughs> let me turn the volume. Let me turn that off here real quick. Uh, do, 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 do. Mute. Okay. Um, all right. Yeah. Okay. Um, so that's that's okay. You know, with, usually with figures, they call it enveloping. Were you were you basically going to have, you know, kind of drawing them like this in a sense? Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. So if you can lock that. Those those ones, yeah. Then you're you're gonna be good, you know. And then you can come yeah. back in and finesse it, and you know, and tweak it. But overall, you're, they're just gonna feel like they belong. They're locked into that space, okay. Um, okay. No, you don't have to go too crazy with it, but you can already begin to see how they're just start oh yeah. To like they it's, uh, it's a big it's a big improvement. I'm a little concerned about the little guy, but you know. That little guy at the far end, you know, the mm -hmm. moving the head so forward and this and that. Sure. Um, but maybe, um, maybe I can figure that one out and so forth. Yep. So, thank you. Um, and by the way, the dog. <laughs> have uh -huh. to just ask. I think. What did I do? I just kind of took a angle. I repeated, I, I guess, an angle mm -hmm. for the back. And I just kind of stuck him there, kind of like a little bit. But you might say, lock him in to that vertical, move him over more. Mm -hmm. That's it. Now he goes directly in the center. Um, honestly, I'd probably, before I say lock him into the center, I, I almost feel like He needs to maybe come down to here. Mm-hmm. 
Yeah. Yeah, that's better. It gives him his little personality, his little, her little space. Mm -hmm. And then what's nice here is now we have, we can lock the parts of the dog in on horizontal, on the vertical, yep. on this yep. diagonal. You can mm -hmm. then repeat the diagonal as you need. And now that is that is a really beautiful solution. And then you also have this angle coming up through here that you can bring in with the dog. Right. So now a lot of that dog is harmonized to that grid in that in that little area. That feels oh, nice. Oh yeah. And, and and what's also nice is it now allows us to feel this and back up to the boy. Which Yeah. Yeah. Oh gosh, Victor, thank you so much. Quick can you take a little screenshot right there? Yep. Because that's that's the most important shot. And then now when we come here from this point and we come down from here and let's see where we are. Maybe maybe here. We should probably come down the same distance here. So one of these two Probably this one, you can put your signature in. Oh. Okay. I'm kind of feeling that that probably would be better, actually. I was going to say, it, it, it felt like a little bit too into the picture, but that's very nice. Okay. So you, I mean, but but you saw how I did that. I mean, it could be, it could be really. Well, actually, no, it's a little confusing for me how you did that, but we'll worry about okay. that at that yes. point. All right, cool. All right. There you go. Cool. All right. Well, then I will post this in, uh, this this uh, video, and so you can go back and rewatch it, and that'll be that. And um, I'll work on it, and I'll post uh, the next thing um, for whatever the Saturday class. Is there going to be a not that there's a Saturday class, but just for but the Saturday review. review. Yeah. So just put it up there and then let, you know, other people give you some feedback on it. And um, uh, I'm probably not going to give any feedback tomorrow. Uh, sure. Spending the time with my kitty kids. And um, yeah. But this Thank was you so much. Awesome. Have a Take good night. Take care. Have, have a great night. Bye-bye. Bye. -bye. Bye. Mm-mm-mm.